Hey everybody, I have a really exciting and important announcement to give you today. Something I've been thinking of and wanting to do for a really long time now. Um, and finally I get to kind of see it happen and make it, make it work a little bit. So this is exciting. Basically, what I'm going to be doing over the next two to three weeks is creating an outline or showing you and teaching you the process of start to finish of how I do my hand lettering and how I create custom typography and stuff like that. There are so many questions on my Instagram page. Just people ask me like, how do you do that? How do you start? What do you use? Stuff like that. And I really want to address all of those common questions and um, common problems that people have. Because I've been doing this for like only like two and a half years. So it's like, it's not no way an expert or anything like that. But I do think I have learned a lot of valuable skills that I can teach people and that people would love to love to know. Mm. Basically, um, we're going to start everything out with how do you get inspired to create and how how is that incorporated into what I do and what I make and then the sketching and the idea planning and then moving forward with that and then how do you practically put that into use like how do you use your sketches to make something um, useful and then I'm going to be talking to you about refining your sketches and refining um, the stuff you've made and what you've been working on so far and, and bringing those concepts to life really we're going to be talking about finalizing your sketches and what that means and how you do that and uh, what mediums to use. I'll be covering a lot of different mediums. There's going to be a lot of offshoot episodes of each category, like because there's so many different types of hand lettering and typography and the things you can do with that. And so I want to address as many as I can because I love not having just one particular form of typography. I love being able to work with all of them um, and incorporating everything because I think that when you broaden your skill set that makes you a better designer and that makes you more attractive to the people that you come in contact with um, in the design community in the design world especially with clients and stuff like that and then we're gonna be talking about digitalizing and a lot of uh, not necessarily how you make it digital but what you can do once it is digital because I've already talked about in an earlier episode how to make your uh, stuff digital and how to bring that over onto the computer. Lastly, we'll talk about like texturizing and color and just a lot of the basic basic techniques used and how you can apply those um, on the computer within Illustrator and Photoshop because there's so many different ways you can do things. A lot of these videos are going to be showing my work and the things that I have come up with. and. Everyone has their own way of doing things, but I really want to help you understand how everything works and just give you a base of the, the easiest and the best ways you can create your custom typography and create your art. Everyone has to find their own style and their own way of doing things and their own voice, so to speak, in the world of art and the world of typography. I really encourage you to branch out and try your own ideas and try your own thoughts on typography and lettering because it's important to be your own person and develop your own style that's a really really important aspect of the whole entire art world is to be your own person no one's gonna take you seriously unless you have your own voice if you're just copying off of other people then you might as well not do it at all there's no reason to anyways thank you for watching thank you for your support thank you for uh, liking and commenting um, I really appreciate it. I'm always there to help and to give answers if you need any. I'm excited for this whole entire process and this whole entire series is going to go down. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already so you can get updates of whenever I drop a new video. Thank you for 50 already. That's really cool. It means a ton to me. Um, I want to help you guys uh, with what I've learned and so I feel like this is the best way I can do that. You guys rock. Have an awesome day.